welcome back, Pokemon Go players, to another episode of the Purify Podcast. Today is April 25th, 2021. I am your host, Luis Palazzo, with my co-host, Chris. It is your boy, Pokemon Trigger, please. How you doing? How's it going, my good man? Oh, it's been a good day. It's been a good day. I got a, got a haircut, thanks to Julie. Nice. And um, yeah, it's been a good week. Looking clean, Honestly. Brother. Looking clean. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> But yeah, we are here once again to talk about Pokemon Go news, updates, and ranting about the game because we love the game just as much as you do. And a quick reminder, we are part of the Professor Network. Please check us out at theprofessornetwork.com slash purifypodcast. Wonderful people to work with every time. Don't worry, they will not harm you in any way or shape or form. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to say that. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I guess it's been a, it's been an interesting week for sure, right, Chris? Dude, it's it's been weird because um, I don't know. I feel like people are kind of annoyed with Niantic right now. Yeah, it's probably not the best time to say that our relationship with it has been the greatest. But I mean, we <laughs> still play the game. I don't know. If, I I can't lie. I still love the game. I mean, I can't go without it anymore. But I feel like <laughs> at one point, I feel like at one point, I could put it down. But just for like a day without having to do much, maybe not do my body hearts or anything like that. Just uh, just do your streaks and that's it. That's all you gotta do because I don't wanna. There's a, there are times where I'm just like opening the game. And I'm like, eh, there's nothing really going on that I want right now. There, that's true. There is a needle queen in my nearby, but that's too far away for me to get. <laughs> I need to get into the car. For queen. Me. I don't know. Can can needle queen can be shiny or so? Oh no. Uh, I don't believe so anymore. Yeah, that's for sure. Hey, Poco, thank you for joining us to the stream. But yeah, all right. So let's recap, shift the gears back again to where we were back and see what we got. What you got for me, Chris? Ooh, ooh we talking shinies and hondos? Shinies and hondos. The bad, I mean, I mean well, actually, uh, in other good news, I did get 3 million Stardust in uh, Pokemon Go finally. Nice. So I, I feel like I'm making some progress. Haven't been spending a lot um, in Go Battle League, haven't you? Not too much. Not too much. That's true. I think I spent like maybe a hundred thousand or so. Um, so I actually got a shiny that I've really been looking forward to, and uh, that was actually Shiny Saviper. Nice. I got that after picking up a pizza, so I was <laughs> really excited for that. Well, maybe <laughs> the, the the little snake wanted to slither into the pizza. It, it likes pepperoni. Pretty much. It likes pepperoni. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and then, um, I actually hatched a hundo. I, uh-huh. I, I don't really get hundos, but I did hatch another shiny, uh, shiny, another hundo Tyrogue. Um, so that was pretty exciting. I decided to evolve it right away, see if I could get one of the other. I think you, uh, you got a Hitmon Shan, right? You got a Hitmon Shan? Um, I actually got a Hitmon Top for the second time. And and some people may think, oh, it's always going to be Hitman Top when it's perfect. No. Um, when it's perfect, or when two of the stats are the same, it is very unique because uh, it can be any of them, if that's so, the case. So because all three of the stats were there, <laughs> it was a random between the three of them. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. normally it would just be Hitman Top no matter what, but they wanted to make it so you could get a perfect Hitman Chan or... Hitman Lee, if you were lucky. That's a that's an interesting one to get to Hondos because if you can at least get one, that's fine. I, I remember I my first yeah. Hitman or Tyrog that I got was a Hitman Chan and I used it in the uh, uh, Boulder Cup back uh, when the first tournament came around. And I was Dude. Like, I, 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 I had to struggle with that thing. Like It's a good Pokemon. It is. It actually helped me out. People underrate it. Indeed. Uh, so you're shining one shiny and one hundo, basically, right? That was your whole this week. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, for me, I actually surprisingly I got a sh- got shinies this week. Uh, surprisingly enough, there Ooh. were surprise shinies too. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so the day after the podcast, you know, I was driving home. I got some Chinese food because there was nothing at home. And I was just go plusing. Like, I wanted to check things too, but I was just go plusing whatever I can. Mostly because in, my ch- in the place where I get my Chinese food, there's the parking lots. And there's only one Pokestop, but there's like a ton of Pokestops on. So, you know, I went through that and I go plus a shiny milk tin in the way. I was like, brah. Brah. <laughs> Easy. 
<laughs> Easy. <laughs> Uh, then after that, five minutes later, when I was actually getting home from getting Chinese food, I actually got a shiny Tylo. Bruh. <laughs> five minutes apart, two gold plus shinies. Like, what the, what are the odds of that, Chris? Like, I would have been happy with three, but that would have been amazing, too. <laughs> would have been happy with three. Dude, that is insane luck. I bet insane it. luck. Especially Seeing people get, like... Because the two like shinies, the that I, plus shinies, I know, yeah. right? The two shinies, these two shinies are actually like overdue shinies. Well, I mean, I had the tailor, but overdue shinies in the way that two weeks in a row, I probably were completely out of shinies aside from Community Day. And I was like, bruh. <laughs> like, so Pokemon Go gave me the luck on that one. I'm happy that I got the Meltem because the Meltem was the most sought out one for me. Uh, so I'm actually happy. I'm still working, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy to get it, even if it was the like, most random thing in the world. Uh, I did a lucky tray for a crowd on, so not as the stats. It was a 13, 13, 13. I mean, I'm always looking for the Shandos, Hondos, or whatever. And during Different. during the friendship week that we were going to recap, or friendship day, I guess, not week, uh, I got another Snivy. So that's interesting. I was actually hunting them more because I needed the extra large candies for uh, to power up one of my Hondos or one of my... Uh, it looks like ones. you hit it. I did, I did, with a couple of trades, but I did, but I actually need more candies now. I, I could do rare candy if I wanted to. I wanted to ask you, do you think that it's better to power up the rank one ultra league one to extra large or the hundo at this point? In my opinion, the, the rank one. I think so too, um, because, I mean, as much as I love Superior, there's nothing much that's there that he, you know, he can be, like, there's no megas of him. There's no reason to be powerful because Minasaur is in the meta and, and the uh, like raids and everything. So there's really nothing. To yeah. About it. So I'm thinking about in, in raids. Yeah. He, he's just gonna be over. Uh, sorry, outclassed in raids. Yeah. So there's really no reason to make it that like that level fifty hundo. So I'm gonna just try to get as much candies, which I can do with our candies, uh, to do the final power up for my um, level fifty rank one superior for Ultra League. I want to try it out of Ultra League for sure. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> dude. Paired up with uh, Talonflame, I think he's gonna doing a lot of work. Well, I always like using I'm Grass type in, in Go Battle League. Meganium was my my tank because he was a tank boy. But um, <laughs> the reason why Superior will probably be better is because uh, it does get air, air slash. I think of one of his movesets. Mm -hmm. So he can tank the other opposition Grass types like um, Inasaur or maybe uh, Roselia. Uh, mm -hmm. When it comes down to it, I do have to worry about like the Roselia fire types and or the Roselia weather ball and the Beta Source lost yeah. one. So I I probably could win the two shield scenario, but I don't know if I can win the one shield scenario. He's very chunky. Like Superior is a lot chunkier than I think he is, honestly. Well, he does. Uh, the rank one does max out under twenty five hundred, so it's pretty good. Aside from Beta Source maxing, not maxing out at twenty five hundred, so. Uh, off the off the top of my head, I do know he wins a few matchups. I don't know if it's for Great League though. Mm. But oh, we'll I know he can beat like uh Bastiodon extra large and I but I do think it is in uh in Great League for that. Well, I can probably a wall a Machamp or a Shadow Machamp in Ultra League just for that, it's mostly because of the air slash. And I do wall most of the uh, fighting type moves that uh, Machamp can dish out, even though it's like shadows or powerful on that. So I'm sure mm -hmm. it's a possibility. I have to try it out and see. I have a pretty good team. Actually, I have like a really diverse team if you think about it. Mm -hmm. Because I, if I go in Polyon, Talonflame, and Superior, that will actually be like a nice coverage between all four sizes. It wins against some very, very, very relevant beats. Honestly, it beats uh, Shadow Machamp. It beats Kingdra. It beats Gallade. It beats Empoleon. It beats Swampert. Yeah, I know there's more. Uh, it's just that's what the extra large one says for the key wins on PvPokey.com. Mm -hmm. Um, it will. So depend. yeah, I, I depend. do depend. think it's very. I think relevant. I, I'll test that out once Ultra League comes back uh, Monday, I believe, if that's the case. Um, but yeah. That, that is, uh, of course, that. And then Hondo-wise, I did get a couple of Hondos this week. Uh, I did talk about the Conkeldorf, so which was nice. I got a Hondo seal from an incest that I actually uh, was... Um, what? During, yeah, during my... Uh, 
He's so tiny. That's like level four. I know. Level four, Hundo. It's, it's not like it's, I, mean, I caught it. I was like, oh, okay, that 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 works. It's so funny. <laughs> it is hilarious. <laughs> Um, then after that, I did get a Hando Landorus, the reinformed Landorus. I'm happy about this. So good. I know, I know. I mean, I could actually uh, rate more for the extra large candies, but I don't know if I need it right now. He'll be back in shiny e. sooner or later. Indeed. <laughs> and then I had a, a, a Hando cube on when I was walking my, my walks there. So yeah, I know. I know. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> So the Hunter Lock was actually pretty popping off this week. That's for sure. That's pretty good. Popping off. Indeed. So I, I had a pretty go haul, a good haul this week. I can't complain. I wish I would have got it the, the Shandos. But hey, you know, that's the name of the game. Pokemon Go, you know. You either get yeah. it or you don't. So. <laughs> that's All right. true. All right. So we're through with our hauls. Let's see what we can recap here. Um... So recently, actually yesterday, by the time this podcast is live right now, uh, or two days, but or two or three days by the time it actually goes on podcast services, uh, the Friendship Day was just wrapped up. Also, Sustainability Week just wrapped up. Uh, mm-hmm. But let's talk about Friendship Day. What? Uh, how were your thoughts about this one? Well, I was stuck at work for all of it. Um, so my opinion on it isn't as great as some others might be. Yikes. Um, I was able to throw a lure, three hour lures. Nice. Thank and, you. uh, yeah, it's it pretty nice. But, um, the annoying part was the fact that you had to catch kind of more uncommon Pokemon towards, uh, the event. I know some of them were definitely harder than others. You know, we had to get the, um, election challenge. The, the Cacnea, yeah. We had to get the Cacnea. Sunkern, for some reason, was kind of rare for me. And uh, as soon as I saw Tangela, I knew that would be more uncommon. But I actually got that one fairly early compared to the other ones. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It, it was rough. It was a little bit rough for a lot of people, especially running on insets or lures only. So it was kind of hard for them to get what they needed during the collection challenge. Uh, real mm-hmm. quick, I do want to mention that the collection challenge uh, rewards change uh, by the time of the release of Friendship Day. Instead of doing a global challenge, a gold stores experience, uh, and getting a specific amount of experience every time we hit a tier, um, we act- they also they removed the whole global challenge and they just made the reward only 175,000 experience for the players. Okay, I thought so. I thought some seemed off. Yeah, so before the removal of an event uh, of the global cat or the global event, I guess, um, the experience you were only going to earn by doing everything, even reaching the tiers and then the and whatever experience you're gonna get from the rewards was only going to be 165. So they increased it and only put 175 at the time you finish the chat, uh, the collection, uh, collection. Challenge, yes, collection challenge. Um, so it wasn't that bad of a change because we did get more, but it was kind of nice yeah. at the end of the day because we didn't actually have to worry about other people playing the event and having to worry about that the world was going to do the same thing. Uh, I wish I would have seen how it would work, but I guess they had the reasons of why not doing it, of course. That's true. Uh, it, it was lucky egg eligible, I think, because I... Oh. Let's see, I think Trainer Tips said something about that, and he actually claimed his reward and actually got like double the experience from that. I debated doing it. I debated it so bad. I only would have only done it like a half an hour and things like that from, from that. That's true. Uh, Frederick, no, we don't have any news on the events coming up. Uh, we'll definitely be talking about that in the, in the topic uh, research. Uh, in the news, but we don't actually have any news from Pokemon Go this week specifically, so um, we're just trying to recap a few things, and we're going to talk about a few things uh, this week as much as we want to, but anyways. (laughs) Uh, So Friendship Day was interesting for me. Uh, I didn't really start it until 12, uh, mostly because Mm -hmm. I went to uh, hang out with my nephew for half an hour to the pool because he when they wanted me to take care of it. Thank you very much for the folder the telegraph train. Um, and then of course 
uh, we wanted to, I, I needed breakfast because unfortunately I didn't get breakfast before then. By the time I actually got to where I needed to go, uh, I didn't get anything. So I went to get mm-hmm. breakfast. I went to get, I got some Chick-fil-A and then I went to actually get, you know, go hunting uh, in my judicial uh, place. But there was an event happening at the um, Marina Jack. And it was just full of people. There was no way to get parking spot. There was nowhere to go. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to screw uh, somewhere else. And then um, I went to the museum, really museum. So that actually helped that out a lot since I knew I can just walk in there and not have to worry about anything. Uh, <laughs> if there's leaks, um, that would be interesting. But I don't believe leaks until there's like definite part of it. We'll definitely check it out for sure. Thank you very much, Frederick. Uh, but yeah, it's the same week it started. We didn't really do much, uh, just catch and did whatever else I feel like it was possible. Uh, and yeah, I just, I did all the catches that I could. Uh, and that pretty much it. That was, that was all the event for me. Just, I, I put a incest, I, I lure up the place. I, surprisingly, I did buy lures uh, so I could get as much as possible. My goal was actually different. Aside from doing a couple of catches and things like that, um, <laughs> instead of the catches and catching the experience and everything like that, well, experience was one of the things that I wanted to do for sure. Get as much experience as I can. I knew I wasn't going to get all the experience I needed to reach the next level because, you know, it's a lot of experience. And only three hours to do three catch time experience, I, I needed to, like, fast catch everything I see no matter how much I try. <laughs> yeah. And that would have been, like, a draining. Plus, I didn't have a really a good restock from before the event started, so I didn't really have that many Pokeballs or all troubles to, to go through. I know. I was thinking gifts like crazy. I know. So it wasn't it wasn't the best way for me to start an event and be like, okay, I could do the three hours with no problems. Plus it started an hour late, so it wasn't the best. But anyways, I used as much as possible when it came down to it. Uh, and then my other goal was to actually walk as much as possible because I needed to hit close to the Mew Quest uh, as I could. Uh, I wanted to get to most of it, but I am missing 11 kilometers. <laughs> yeah, I'm down to like the last uh, 20. Yeah. So. And I was like, eh, if I can hit 50 kilometers this week, that'd be kind of cool too. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't even. Yeah, I didn't even hit 50 kilometers this week. Only 33. As much as I walked at work and drifted, as much as I did, it wasn't enough to do what I needed to do. I think I needed to actually go out in the mornings and do a walk every now and then, but. Still didn't net me the 50 that I wanted. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm lucky that to be able to do that. I may actually do something tomorrow. Luckily, for some reason, I'm off tomorrow. So I may actually do Ooh. a little bit of walk here and there uh, just to set the pace uh, to get to that final 10, uh, 11 kilometers. I may be able to do it tomorrow. I don't know if I want to actually get it unless it's like on the podcast or something. Maybe I'll get like crazy Hashanto or something. <laughs> that's true um i mean either way uh definitely follow us on twitter and we will be posting our shiny muse on there yes uh we do have our socials right here uh pure letter go and pure pokemon trigger please almost said pokemon go again so that was weird <laughs> <laughs> uh not at all not at all not at all so, so friendship week was a different goal but i was already tired and by the time i finished like uh i think i finished a half an hour before the events ended And I was like, you know what, Uh, let me just go home. Because I was getting like a big headache. I was actually drinking water as much as possible, but it was still a hot day Mm. uh, for us anyways. Um, Yeah. But I was like tired. I don't know why, but I was just really tired. So I went home, took a shower, took like a three-hour nap or something. (laughs) And then just like, uh, you know, continue on my day. But anyways, that was my friendship day. We did do some trades, which was interesting. Uh, Yes, Frederick, we did see the leaks. Um... There are interesting, but I don't think we want to cover it just because I don't think that uh, Twitter account is as eligible as they uh, we want it to be. So I don't I don't follow it either. So, uh, but thank you very much for information, either way. Um, but yeah, no, that was it. That that's all there is to it. I'm close to Mew, so that's pretty good. Uh, I'll get there eventually, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, so let's recap Sustainability Week. I'm surprised I said that word correctly. <laughs> um, but did good? what did you think about this week? Um, 
I mean, what what do we get? Just uh, I'm trying to think about it. Trubbish, parasites. All the grass stuff too. Yeah. Muck, Grimer. Well, not Muck. Hmm. I I liked the spawns. Trubbish was freaking amazing for Stardust. That was pretty yes. much the only reason I was able to gain like four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand Stardust, like uh, during the event. Yeah. With like barely playing. Yeah. So it was insane. Well, I was catching as much as possible when it came down to it. Um, mm -hmm. So it wasn't too bad uh, just to try to see if I can get as much status. But again, I was low on balls. I think I took a day off from catching and just restocked. It was the day before mm -hmm. um, he actually... Um, I don't know. Uh, before the actual mm -hmm. event. So that's why I kind of stopped catching. But there wasn't too many spawns at my workplace. I only Every time I opened it, there was probably one or two Travis, and that's about it. I was hoping for the shiny, but, you know, I didn't go as hard as I wanted to. <laughs> I will say the thing that was pretty lackluster this event was definitely the quests. Yes, yes. The quests for were... For sure, the quests. The quests were... Not the best in the world, I can tell you that much. <laughs> uh, mostly because... Was even one of them a shiny chance? No, now that I think about it. I think. I mean, what? there's some cool Hondos in there, but Grimer, that's about it. I think Grimer nutted you a some flora or not as a flora, but a uh, sunken or something. A the Trubbish one granted you a Cotney. Uh, the yeah. five berries granted you a Chespin, which I was doing the most because I wanted the Hondo, of course. Um, Chespin was cool, yeah. And then some, there was something else that I can't remember, but anyway, there was no chance of a shine. I think there was a Trubbish or not a Trubbish, but a um, a quest for. Uh, sweet all, sweet wall, or whatever the box, the box. Uh, so was, a swaddle, and uh, there was one. Snap, shot of grass. Yeah, I think there was only a chance of one shiny possibility. Snapshot of mm -hmm. Bulbasaur for Bulbasaur, yeah. So one or two, basically, because I know there was one for that one. I really expected a quest for Trubbish, but I mean, he was spawning enough that I couldn't really complain. I didn't either. Plus raids, so I know people were raiding him a lot too, uh, in that sense. So. Eh, it is what it is when it came down to it. Um, yeah. In all honesty, it wasn't a bad event, but it wasn't like the greatest in the world. They did release a shiny, so everybody was doing it. Uh, there wasn't really a gold source doing anything in that event, aside from that. Um, we didn't get like extra experience, extra cash dust, or anything, uh, incubators, or anything like that. The eggs were I mean... abysmal, so there wasn't really anything in the eggs. Yeah. And I, I do think um it had a good variety of spawns though. Yes. Honestly. Yes. Between Grimer, uh the other grass tire uh a grass Pokemons, uh really that Seal wasn't... for some reason. Yeah, seal for some reason. I was actually kinda nice because I wanted to get a seal shiny. I got Same. Hot, though, but anyways, you know. <laughs> uh but yeah, no, it wasn't too bad of a event. Just wasn't the greatest. I don't know. I just feel like there's They've been slowing down in some of their things. Now, it's a good thing, too, because if not, we're, like, super burned out of having to, like, play an event when it comes down to it. Taking it easy. Yeah, it's been taking it easy, but I think, I don't know, it's the same thing that we said last week. The biggest downfall is the accessibility of some of the things that we're getting. People want the shiny, people want the hundo, people want the... Um, the raids, the the ability to catch cool Pokemons and everything. I'm getting invited to a Tarvish race for some reason. <laughs> uh, Trash. I'll do, I'll do it because there is still a chance of a shiny, so that's not bad. Uh, but yeah, it, it's it just comes to down to how the game plays, I guess. You know, it, like how you really wanted to do it. You know, and this event just wasn't. I wasn't as best as the other ones, and I do see you there, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so what's your rating for this event? What do you got for me? Um, I'd honestly rate it like maybe an eight, 7.5 at lowest. Mm. I wanna, pretty good. I'm going to give it a 5.5 out of six at best. I, I want to, I want to give it above the actual, like, you know, lower tier part of it, but it wasn't like, it wasn't at eight. I can't tell you it wasn't at eight. You know? Oh man. No worries like that. I know, I'm being a little bit harsh, but I do think that the event could have actually done one thing to make it just, like, explode for everybody to go through. I but can see that. I the, can see that. I think the real problem is that nobody's really excited to even do races these days. There's nothing to do. 
I mean, when you're literally raiding a trash bag, <laughs> you know, <laughs> oh I think that tells you something. Yeah, no, I, I, I get oh that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, but okay, well, sustainability week, sustainability week, now I can say the word, uh, was there for us. So we'll see how the next one goes. I think the snap event should be the right, the next one, uh, coming up pretty soon in the next few days. Today's the 25th, tomorrow's the 26th. I think it starts on the 28th, but I'm going to check that pretty quickly, real quick here. Uh, but yeah. So, for which event? Uh, the snap or the snap uh, um, event that's going to come like right after Pokemon Snap comes out or something. It like should that. start uh, 29th. 29th. 10 a.m. local time. So we do, I mean, aside from that, I, I want to get this right. There is nothing going on from today of the event ending to until the event of Snap, which is at least a four mm. day between. Yeah, just a raid hour and, raid hour um, and um, the spotlight hour yeah, and stuff. Which, I don't even know what the spotlight hour is day this event is. Oh, it's lame. It's uh, lame. Okay. Well, well. Our boy Finian coming up, boy. Oh, uh, no. Uh, oh, no. Oh, uh, no. What's that song? It's like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Too much TikTok. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I know Finian, Jesus, no. <laughs> Wait, how do, you know that if, how do you know that? <laughs> huh? How do you know that if you if if I'm the one actually watching tic- more TikTok than you these days? I may or may not see a few things. I just don't go on TikTok. Ah, okay. Well, it is what it is. So yes, Finian is the next one. We'll be twice the experience with catching Pokemon. I may do it just because there's something to do, but at the same time I need the experience. Let's go ahead and check for this shiny real quick, Chris. Did you check the already? Mine was trash. Uh, well, I mean can't do anything about that, but anyways. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, nope, mine was stretched to... Uh, what is the CP? I don't even know. 545? What was yours? Uh, mine was 550, and it was ah, pretty well, bad. Yeah, so, sucks. Anyways, uh, but yeah, that's... That's uh, really the only thing that we got to talk about that. Uh, we will talk about some miscellaneous news here and there. The miscellaneous news that we have right now is the two of the bugs that were affecting players um, recently has been fixed. One of them being the Tingo Rocket are finally back. They fixed Tingo Rocket. Woohoo! Yay! Welcome back. Take my Pokemon. <laughs> you mean catch my Pokemon? I don't know. Like, steal my Pokemon? <laughs> what, what, what do you mean there? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm definitely excited that they're back, though. Yeah, definitely. It's been... It's been a quiet time without them. It's been interesting. Um, so it's kind of int- it's kind of weird when we see one here and there. Oh, I'm never gonna finish that task anymore. I have a task for Travis, and I'm like, nope, I'm not gonna finish that. <laughs> oh, yeah, goodbye. It's not even it's not even that good. It's just a Cadnia, and, 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 and you know, the best thing you can get is a Honda. Uh, yeah. I mean, I do got two Hondas of that already, so there's no reason. Really- uh, yeah, no, I don't need another one. <laughs> yeah, so I was just doing it for the hunt, for the shiny, anyways. Uh, if you're on a friends list, we'll accept any raids. It doesn't matter what it is. Uh, but yeah. Uh, then after that, of course, we did get the fix on the friendship uh, level up thing that they're having there. It looked like they were, you know, the friendship wasn't coordinating with Lucky Egg, and it will actually go farther in the day for anybody who's trying to, like, uh, apply to best friends or ultra friends with somebody according to a lucky egg they fix all of that but there's still a b- visual uh glitch in the game that doesn't show that you got the experience but you did get it it's just that's not showing to the journal or something like that so um mm-hmm. either way that has been fixed so you get you are more than lucky to um to get more experience so just just be careful you know and coordinate with people don't open the gifts when you don't want to <laughs> yeah <laughs> So, yeah. Uh, aside from that, guys, really, there has been no news this week. There's nothing to talk about. What is it that we were going to do today? I don't know. We were, we were just being like two guys talking about Pokemon Go for the first time today. So. <laughs> uh, but I do want to ask the community, if you're here on Twitch or on Twitter or in anywhere else in, out there, 
what are you expecting to come up? We are coming up to the final month of the Legends month, or the or not the, season, the season of Legends. And we're also getting close to the end of the Ethereum forms or the regular forms that we're going to be getting pretty soon. What do you want to have about in the next few weeks? What is the next legendary you want to see? What's the next event you want to come through? Uh, we're coming into the month of March, so I'm sure there's things here and there that they may prompt some events. I don't know. What, what, is, what is your take on this, Chris? Personally, the main thing I think a lot of us have been wanting is uh, Shiny Dialga and Shiny Palkia to come out. Mostly Dialga. <laughs> Mostly Dialga. <laughs> Be perfect timing, too, before uh, Master League. Yeah, but we do have, if I remember correctly, we should have more... Uh... But they're probably going to come out closer to the uh, remakes. Yeah. So the the other forms, the incarnate forms of the of the of the genies, will be in five star race starting on April twenty seven. Uh, if you know if you're lucky, you might encounter shiny one of those. Anyways, we should have a dump of news pretty coming up pretty soon, uh, probably by tomorrow because we are about at the end of the month at this point. So I'm sure that they're coming up that that close. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, unless we wanted to postpone the podcast for the next day. I'm pretty sure we were going to get that close to that. But we did wanted to talk about this week's events, or this week's um, everything else, I guess. <coughs> um, I don't think so, Mr. Frederick. I do think that there's a need for them. I mean, uh, I know people are still looking for some of the incarnate forms, so that's pretty good to have. It's going to be interesting. I think that we're probably going to have maybe just a week of it. Because the dump of news before May is going to give us what's going to be coming pretty soon on that. Um, as for Shiny Requests, uh, Paper Cuts, uh, we just had it pretty early. Uh, and we had like the weekend where everybody was raiding it. So there's not much that people need to do since there's more than enough extra large candies that people have gotten it. So we probably won't see requests and probably until the summer. Or maybe closer to winter. I don't know. It really depends on that. There is some speculation going around, uh, just like Friday said. Um, I don't want to get into leaks because I don't want to get much into what's been unconfirmed aside from probably the, uh, the data mining of the game. Um, yeah. But there are some things here and there that prompts that there are going to be events in other places of the world. We'll definitely get confirmation once the news comes out. But if not, then, you know, we're waiting for things. Uh, May is an interesting month. There's not much here in the United States that we prompt to have, aside from probably Mother's Day, unless they really want to give us Sylvian for Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be opposed. I wouldn't either. <laughs> uh, so that's maybe one thing. Uh, there's a lot of Pokemon's that have been added to the call, so I'm pretty sure that's coming. And then the X and Y, uh, X Y C trio. Should be coming up pretty soon, just because of the uh, of the loading screen that we had, uh, especially Cernius. Give me Cernius. I want a Hundo. Said and done. I want power up to level fifty. I don't care. Just give me that to me right now. <laughs> you want Yveltal, don't you? Yveltal. Um, I think it's a lot. It's one of my favorites, honestly. Even not shiny, I think his typing is really cool too. Yeah, yeah. Then, then that means. I mean, they're not gonna they release the shinies just here and there. I mean, they're probably gonna wait another year before they release the shinies, anyways. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's no problem with me. Yeah, me neither. Uh, just mostly because I do love Cernus and uh, Saigar for that matter. I don't know how they're gonna do Saigar. Flex that emote. Flex that emote. I know, right? Um, Saigar is interesting because we have his two, three forms in the game, technically. We have the little doggy at 10%, that full complete form at 100%, and some other form that I like the snake form in like 80 or something percent. So I kind of mm -hmm. want to wish that they had some kind of like event or something to be able to collect the Saigar, the, the, the little Saigar's uh, energies, I guess. It would be cool if you could collect them like an item, but n like have them be like the Team Rocket things, not as 
not as like something that actually takes up item space. Well, let's think of it this way. So let's think that it's not gonna. Okay, so I don't think they're gonna put in uh, backspace for that. However, we're gonna get probably the Saigar cube from like Sun and Moon. Uh, and then we'll be able to collect depending on maybe how much you walked or things like that. There's so many ways they can actually connect this to the main series games, and it's insane. When Saigar came out in X and Y, we really didn't have an event for it. We only knew that it was in the game because, I mean, we played X and Y, of course. Um, mm-hmm. But then when Sun and Moon came out, the only way to get Saigar is to collect all its pieces around the region. It's possible that they can actually go with the same way and say, hey, to be able to get Saigar uh, true form or 100% form, you'll be, you need to actually collect as much of Saigar energy as possible, similar to Mega Energy. Mm-hmm. Um, but I can see that. But you can still raid it and get the candies for it when it appears in raids. Because Saigar is not a mythical Pokemon, so I know you can trade it and things like that. However... If we do it that way, there's still incentive to do the raids. Plus, you want to collect as much energy of uh, of Saigar for the cube. So that way you can actually complete this form and maybe change this form. I know that we haven't really seen form changes in Pokemon Go just yet. But it's a possibility. I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, if for that one we just had to raid it multiple times. Kind of like Deoxys and uh, the Incarnate and Therian forms. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. I I wouldn't be either. Because that's how they have done any other form or change form of Pokemons, like the, um, you know, just like you said, Deoxys and uh, Giratina. Mm-hmm. So it's not that it's mm-hmm. impossible to see, but Giratina was technically a special, a special case. Uh, same with yeah. Deoxys, but they also never really had so much to get into. I mean, we still have uh, Sacrum, Reshiram, and uh, Kyurem forms, uh, black and white forms, mm-hmm. of course. Uh, we need the fusion for those. Uh, Saigar is. It makes be- me curious about Shaman. Shaman is also another Pokemon with a cha- uh, form changing. Uh, Rotoms, you know, they have changing forms too, depending on you know how you catch them, how you do. Uh, and then there's also, you know, I already mentioned Saigar, and then we also have Necrozma, Solgaleo, Lunana from uh, Sun and Moon, which all those uh, fusions are also going to be there. So. It's interesting how they're going to do that, you know. It's interesting if they're going to even see the light of day in so much a form that holds the mechanics of Pokemon Go true. At this point, it's always going to be just raid this. Oh, another week, I'll raid the same form, but a different form or something. Like, come on. <laughs> now you, you need that go. extra large candy. What do you mean? But, yeah, you can still do that. But so much money. Bring something else to the game that's going to, you know, show what it is. Now... I can probably see them tie that in with the root maker that is in the game now. Or maybe the Pokemon level up or something like that. There's so many ways that they can actually just bring on the abilities to release different ways of releasing the Pokemon than just mm-hmm. taking a snapshot or catching a raid in it or things like that, you know. Especially legendaries and have their own ways. I don't know. There's so many things they still haven't even put in the game yet. You know, Kecleon, they haven't put in the Master Ball yet. I feel like... There's like, so many things. Well, the Master Ball, I'm not sure if they want to, but I know they want to. <laughs> As for Kecleon, I feel like Kecleon, it's a... Oh my goodness, thank you very much for the Raider. Um, As for Kecleon, I do feel like... Oh my god, there's just... It's such a meme now because of Pokemon, of in Pokemon Go that I feel like this is going to be a grand event when it comes down to it, you know? Like, event that's yeah. going to change the world or things like that. <laughs> uh, but thank you so much. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, it's just going to be interesting because by the time it releases, uh, it's either going to be the most disappointing thing in the world or the greatest thing in, in that has ever happened in Pokemon Go at this point. <laughs> I'm I'm really curious how they're going to release it because with how much time they've been taking, they're definitely coming up with something cool. Yeah. And right off the top of my bat, I just imagine them doing a thing where you look around in the camera and have to find it. But you never know. You never I mean, know. I don't know. I keep coming back to the root maker. Mm-hmm. Like the root maker can also be something that actually allows you to catch like different species of Pokemon. That are maybe not legendaries, but maybe another form of this and that Pokemon, you know? Yeah. I can see it. And I hope that that... 
I feel like that feature may actually come more for the summer, just because everybody's out and about at that point. Even with I haven't heard too much about it, honestly. It's been in the game, or at least it's coming. Um, I want to say it's in the code of the game. Uh, even the level up part of the Poké stuff and things like that. But there's mm-hmm. recent, hasn't been like a lot of hints from Niantic that says that it's going to be uh, really a big part of it just yet. I just know that it's it's in its on its way and they're working on it. I'm sure they probably wanted to actually release it earlier last year or something like that, or at the end of last year or something like that. But because of you know what, we uh, everything went blah. Because they, they couldn't yeah. work on that specific feature. They had to work on remote rating and just the survivability of the game uh, because of the pandemic. So now that everything is more calmed down, things has actually returned half normal at this point. I think Niantic is an honest way to return full force of what the game will be. I mean, we could say the same with Pokemon Go, Go Fest. Um, I don't see that happening in person this year anyways. I maybe see it for next year. But it's another grand event. Five years of the game being released. Uh, It's nothing to scrap at. I mean, it's five years, you know. Plus, we're in the year of the 25th anniversary. So I'm sure that, you know, things things are going to go ham. (laughs) Dude, it is a crazy year for Pokemon. Yeah. So much hype around the game. Yeah, Yeah, definitely. So... In that sense, I mean, I do feel like that's the point. That's going to be the point. And I do foresee more things coming pretty soon. I just hope that the next news that we have next week, it's going to get me more hyped about playing the game than anything else at this point. <laughs> All right. So I think we ran down too much on what we expect. Let's go ahead and get ourselves to the PPV section. Get good. Get wrecked. Here we go, Chris. Oh, boy. All right, Chris. I... I- Dude, I, I, I've been taking myself pretty seriously in Great League. Ooh. And then I took yesterday off, and now <laughs> Great League ends today. Oh, nice. Uh, well, more specifically, tomorrow at, I think it's 4, 4 p.m. 4, 4 for us. Time, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, you know, if you like Great League, get them in now. Uh, if you're hearing it on the podcast feed later, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been a fun fun grind so far. But uh, yeah, seeing Great League and Remix end uh, and the Ultra League come in is not going to be super fun, in uh, my opinion. Speak for yourself. I love my Ultra League. Ah. <laughs> Ultra League isn't bad. I'd rather do Ultra League than Master League, let's be honest. Especially with Talon Flame in the squad now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm sure that people out there, they're going to be like, oh, Talon Flame, superior. Let's let's counter everything. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to get Harwall everywhere, you know? Like Gabe is just gonna make a, a specific team just to see against me or something. <laughs> Crusto and Polion, <laughs> bastard, Crust- ultra league bastard. Crusto build different. Crusto always build different. Gotta love him. Uh, but yeah, uh, uh, just like Chris has said, remix is ending by tomorrow. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people have had fun with the remix. We should be getting. Uh, let me check that. Actually, it's been a while since I've I heard. Even- yeah, uh, honestly, I'm I'm surprised how um polarizing the views are. You either love it or you hate it for remix. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But I I do like that you get to choose which one you do. You know, regular Great League or remix now instead, or yeah. at, at least right now, at, at right now, not normally. Well, remix. Is, I think it was has, a very cool yeah, idea. Remix has been interesting, but it's a really heavy meta on the Pokemon that you know you can counter. It's basically rock paper scissors. Mm-hmm. There's not much skill to just either you get counter or you don't get counter. One of the two, you know. Uh, or you uh, see just fairies every other time. <laughs> I I don't know if I'd call it rock paper scissors. You do have to be prepared. You're going to run into charm in this meta. Um, I, I do think uh, not as many people use Charm in the normal one just because of Galarian Stun Fisk and Bastardon being everywhere. But you only have to worry about Bastardon pretty much for this meta and Registeel. Um, so I think it's a lot more predictable because of that. Um, and that's that's what I kind of prefer. Yeah. It's not as much of a guessing game. I mean, there are people that run really weird teams. There is one guy that ran three Pokemon that were all weak to fire. Oh god! I was like, you think you're never going to see fire in this meta? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I know, right? Uh, yeah, it has <laughs> been interesting when it comes down to it. Um, 
But that's, of course, the Remix Cup ending. We do have Ultra League coming for the next two weeks until May 10. And then Master League with the Retro Cup is going to be coming pretty soon, too. So we can expect that coming, you know, we'll definitely be talking about it, how it is. But those, that's a cup where it will not have any Dark Steel or Fairy types in the meta. So that's going to be basically anything Gen... Well, not, not everything Gen 1, but everything that has been before Gen 1 was even... Or what Gen 1 was a thing back in the day. So it, Did you say there's no Fairy types, too? No Fairy types. So it's it's actually taken out a few fairy types too because of that just because of the updated typings. I'm still questioning if they're going to take away the entire mechanic of fairy steel and dark types, meaning that they won't have any Pokemon that can learn the moves either way. Uh, because only what I, like charm that's can interesting. be learned by Raichu or things like that. So that's that's how do you see it, you know. I'm assuming just the typing, just because only because that's how they've done it in the past. It would be interesting to see them take out Pokemon that could learn certain moves to the... That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm actually interested mm-hmm. in how the Retro Cup is going to work in that sense. You know? I agree. Uh, yeah. Uh, Mr. Bradley, if you go ahead and go to a Discord, we can probably coordinate that later. We're just going to finish up the podcast very quickly first. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be interesting. For sure, I'm going to be going more ham on Ultra. Uh, until maybe rank Ooh. twenty, do a couple of masters and maybe the retro uh, the the retro cup, but that really depends on how that that will sense out. You know. I wish you luck, my guy. You're really good in ultra too. I do like ultra a lot, especially now that I got my my buddy Talonflame with me. <laughs> uh, I know Gabe <laughs> Gabe is gonna give me a hard time anyway. So every time I go to his Discord, it's like I stand for Talonflame supremacy. It's like you know you want to get banned or something. I'm like yeah. <laughs> Uh, but that's yeah. basically that when it comes to GPL. Uh, what else you got for me, Chris? I know you wanted to talk about something. So, I don't know how much you guys follow the Pokemon Go PvP community. Uh, on the self side and all that jazz, there are some uh, kind of eSport teams rising up. One of those is Mazer, and uh, they actually... Uh, took in some Pokemon Go players a while ago. And uh, one of the ones that they are... Um, they're, they're definitely focusing on Pokemon Go a lot more. <laughs> I forgot what I was starting to say there. But um, either way, they decided to do a tournament where they give a little bit of money to the community. And wow. uh, they sponsored a tournament called the Mazer Gives Back Tournament. And we saw a lot of very prominent names enter. Uh, I believe it was... Oh, it's it's very, very hard for me to say what the tournament was actually. I think it was Prism, but I may be wrong for the meta. But I do know who won, and is a very popular streamer. Um, it's no surprise to me that this gentleman won. And there's a lot of other popular names at the top. Arrow, A-R-R-O-H-H. One of the elite four freaking won the tournament. His first sweep since Toxic Cup, according nice, to him. Nice. Freaking insane. That man is insane. Error has been actually been a, a consistent battler, uh, both GBL and Silt Arena. So, uh, congratulations to Aaron, really. Um, he did a lot. And of course, it's you know, all awesome. of the earnings are also being going back to the community because of it. So, I like it. I love things like this. They're just. It's not just beneficial for the player, but it's beneficial for everybody else too. You know, he earned it. Yeah. Definitely. Um, some of the other top players, I'm trying to find them right now, but um, we can talk a little bit about other stuff. Well, while you look through that, let's go ahead and talk about what Silterina has in store for us next month. So, just recently, they announced their brand new cup for May, and this is the Commander Cup. Interesting enough, the Commander Cup has some very interesting pickings. Uh, Found it, and of course, we'll we'll talk about it in just a second here. Um, but that's basically it. So we have to bring Pokemon types of Rock, Ice, Electric, Poison, and Psychic. Uh, note mm-hmm. the Steel types: Megas, Legendaries, Mythical Shadows, Abomas, Snow, Gavantula, Stunfist, Medichan, Bulbafet, Pachirisu, and Drapion are not permitted in this cup. However, how is this cup going to work? This is how it's basically going to be. At first, you're going to choose your commander. 
You have a commander of choice of six different, or not six different Pokemons, but uh, nine, no, 12. 12 different Pokemons, I think it's two, four, six, eight, uh, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yes, ten. I don't know how to do math, guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the commanders you can choose is, is Munchlax, um, Shift Tree. Uh, I'm blanking on the names of the Pokemons for some reason. Um... <laughs> Sheesh, I forgot his name too. What in the world? <laughs> All right, we'll skip that Jeez. one for a second. But uh, Steelix, Empoleon. As Cavalier. As Cavalier, thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. We have with the evolution is Frelish. Chris. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even know the name of this Pokemon. Uh, Jellison. Bron Jellison. Bronson, Easy. Nightowl, <laughs> Amarowak, and Poliwort. Uh, <laughs> we, we know Pokemon, guys. Don't worry, we know Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon so, fans. <laughs> uh, so when it comes out to it, you can choose one of those commanders. Basically, will be leading your team. And then after that, you pick a roster of Pokemon, uh, depending on, though, and, on that. And then, of course, you complete, uh, complete it with those specifically. Uh, so, Rocks, Ice, Electric, uh, Poison, and Psychic. If we go to PB Poke in here, one second. PB Poke. Let's see the ratings for this, because we gotta love that this guy already has everything here. And we go to yeah. Silt Commander Cup. Of course, it shows the limited type of Pokemon that you can choose from NXL candies, but differences from the Commander... You know, Munchlax is number one uh, with a 96.3% of the meta. Uh, Still, X is well, actually, those are your commanders. We already talked about those. But then other Pokemon like Lantern and Cradelli, Cast from Snowy and Frostlass being in the top 10 of those. We also have uh, Muck and Hypno, Gallade and Nightel. So we have a barrier of Pokemon when it comes down to it. Your, Pokemon, your commanders being on top. So we showed the limited type of Pokemon away because those are the commanders. The ones I mentioned, plus maybe Venusaur and Rosary being in the meta there. So it's kind of interesting when it comes down to it, and, and to it, you know? This is such a cool meta. Yeah. Interesting enough to say. I want to say that the best part of it is that you are limited to what you can choose. Plus, you always have to have that one Pokemon. So when you choose it, um, you know... People are going to know how to counter most things. So you need to pick the best team to be able to cover your commander as much as possible. Even if you don't use your commander as much, you can still choose Pokemon that are going to be type of that commander specifically. So who knows how that's going to work. Um, I know not everybody's going to go over this. They want to use some spice. Uh, the yeah. way that I see it, I mean, things like being a certain Dr. Crow is kind of cool. Maybe Gengar just for a high damage. Munchlax and Gengar could be a pretty cool thing just because of how they wall each other pretty well. I was trying to think of what kind of countered the commanders because, you know, you could just pick something that legit counters all of them. Yeah. But yeah. Um, they have such unique typings between the 10 of them that it's kind of hard to counter all of them at the same time. It's a really diverse meta and I think that it's a well thought out meta in that regard. So I think that they have worked pretty well on how uh, they can switch it up a little bit through our regular means of banning and choosing between colors or things like that. So I actually kind of like it. I do kind of like it. I think yeah. it's easier to understand, too, and that's a big that plus. Too. Plus, they're banning a lot of the uh, top meta Pokemons like Obama Snow, Gavantula, Stunfisk, uh, Medichan, Wobbuffet. I know it will probably be Hardwall. But Chorizo for interesting part of it. And then, of course, Drapion. <laughs> More, to, more thought than tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. I mean, there has to be something with Pachirisu that I'm missing, but I know there's a reason why they would ban it anyways. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking the reason they banned it is because there aren't going to be a lot of ground types this meta. Um, it looks like Steelix is pretty much going to be one of the only ground types. Yeah. So, so Steelix ooh. and Rock Ties. Uh, Bastion is still in the meta, so that's not bad. Oh, no, but steel types. Ooh, hold on. Bastion is a steel yeah. type. Yeah, no, no, no. Definitely. So he'd still be taking some good damage. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, it's interesting to say that they're putting steel there, even though steel types are banned. 
I just want to know who's going to pick Steelix as their <laughs> commander. It's it. such a weird pick to me. I'll do it. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, that is the Commander Cup. That's going to be interesting to say at least. Uh, and Chris, then what you got from the uh, the Mazers Keeper Cup? Keep, keep it back. The Mazers? Okay, I just wanted to mention the top players. You know, not just not just our boy uh, Arrow. Hmm. And for some reason... Okay, Missy. For some reason, uh, looks like your boy... May or may not have deleted the tweet already. <laughs> what the oh world? Oh my god! <laughs> How did I do that? Professional podcasting, guys. We we were professional. Professional, professional podcasting at that. <laughs> Here it is. Okay. Uh, of course, Arrow came in first, and then only Agus is second, with Tiny Boy in third. Ibra. I don't know how you say the rest of his, but he came uh, fourth. Spartan was fifth and yeah that's all i'm gonna say um they're very very talented trainers obviously to come up there yeah a uh, few of them came home with some money a few hundred you know nothing nothing crazy hey. oh my gosh i'm definitely jealous <laughs> hey, as long as you can work. make money out of playing the game that you love the much it's it's more than enough for that you know so I do think that um, they being the top of the of the meta of themselves uh, actually bring a lot to the community, and they're always working hard to make sure that they can. Aside from being the very best, because some of them are wanting to be good, but they don't want to be like top top good when it comes down to it. They just want to have fun, uh, and the Mesa the Mesa's runner or the Mace actually is a nice esports team that people are starting to get notice of. So that way. Uh, once Pokemon Go eSports comes out or something similar to it, we'll get to that point when it gets to it, you know? So we're ready for that in the end. A lot of thought, not just luck. Yes, a lot of thought. And that's really cool when you see about it. Uh, I know that Chris and I, even though we're scrubs, <laughs> uh, we definitely uh, honor the type of people that do go the extra mile to show the appreciation of what Pokemon Go can be in the future. Mm-hmm. All right, with that being said, Chris, I think that we have ourselves a podcast because that is everything that we can cover today. All right, all right. I'm surprised that I was able um, to talk for that long. So. <laughs> did we mention Zapdos really quick? Zapdos? Oh, yeah. The so, Shadow Zapdos? So, yeah. We can just mention it really quick. Yeah, so I forgot about that actually. So, because of Tingle Rockets being disappearing, uh, Shadow Zapdos is going to stay a little bit longer than usual. Uh, it's going to be a second one, actually. They're going to give us a second one? Yeah. So we're going to get a fourth. Oh we got God. three. Now we're getting a fourth one. I, it comes to show, you know, that, you know, I read the news anyways, but here it is. So to make up for the Pokemon Go rocket was away, Shadow Saddles will be returning as an encounter when you defeat Giovanni from Tuesday, June 1st until Thursday, June uh, 17, local time. That is, Isn't of course, crazy. If, uh, they, didn't men- they did not mention that they're going to give us a rocket radar, so I'm not sure about that yet. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Chris is like, what? <laughs> no, I'm I'm like 99% sure that we're getting a fourth one. Yeah, it's a possibility. But Shadow Santos is a pretty good value Pokemon, so be sure to catch yours when you can. Uh, well, yeah, with that being said, anything else that you got else from Chris? No siree. I, th- right. I think we covered everything very nicely. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us on the stream, guys. Uh, we'd really appreciate it when you show up, of course, and talk to the chat. We always love hearing you guys' comments and everything. Uh, thank you for always listening on all podcast services, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Our Heart Raiders, Stitcher, and many other places to go. If you can leave us a review, we will greatly, greatly appreciate it. Uh, also, just to let you guys know, we did reach 2,600 downloads uh, since the last podcast. So we are, you know, we are getting little by little. We're actually growing up a lot more than we expected. So that's popping really cool. off, my guy. I know it's only been what, like two or three episodes since we published the 2,500. I think so. Uh, it wasn't less than recently for sure, but still, that was actually pretty nice. Yeah, two episodes. So we got let more than fifty downloads in the last few ones. So that's or more than hundred downloads. Thanks to you guys. Thanks yeah. for listening. Oh my gosh, you guys listening. It's all that we get. That's why we do it every week, even if we have the slowest weeks in the world. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, and of course, you know, you can follow us on the social media, myself at Pure Lighter Go, Chris at Pure Lighter, uh, Pure Lighter, at Pokemon Trigger, please. <laughs> Chris, I just sending it all to me over there, you know. <laughs> just follow Pure Lighter, that's it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and then of course, you can always, always email us at thepurifypodcast at gmail.com. And don't forget to check us out at thepurifypodcast.com, the professor network. With that being said, Chris, I think it's time to take us away for the night. All right, all right. Okay, hope you guys are excited for that Finian uh, Tuesday event. You know, that's going to be a lot of fun, right? You know, get your XP, get your grinding in. Uh, we're going to have Shiny Mew very soon, so don't forget to follow us on our socials. Uh, if you're not in the Discord, join the Discord. And yeah, hope you guys have a great, great time. And we're looking forward to give you guys news next week. Peace out, guys. Have a good night. Keep grinding. And we'll see you guys next week.